a greater or lesser degree, we are all products of our environment. What we do, what we think, and how we feel is very largely determined by our past experience. Robert, John, Paul, and Bill are no different than the rest. We all need social approval, recognition, and we fight against rejection. In every waking hour of our lives, we are faced with decisions. The moment of decision is the span taken while we are making up our mind. During that period, we weigh the factors involved. Sometimes it takes only a second, sometimes hours, days, or even weeks. But that decision is always our own, and if it is an important one, it may affect our whole future, even our life. For Robert, John, Paul, and Bill, the moment of decision is not far off. Temptation is waiting in the form of a sleek bronze convertible. It's already caught your attention, hasn't it, boys? The desire to be mobile, to move swiftly is part of being young. Speed is a dimension best understood by youth. Up to now, the desire is only a projection of your imagination. But in a moment, Paul will notice something that will change all that. Now the opportunity is there. All you have to do is climb in and drive off. Now you're each faced with a decision, one that could change your life. Each of you, because of your background, will bring a predisposition that will color your decision. You know what you are contemplating is against the law. It's not a childish prank or a misdemeanor, it's a felony. Grand theft auto. So this is a gamble, a big gamble, the biggest you may ever make. For each of you, the decision will be colored by many things. For John, it will be his need for recognition. You'll assume the role of leader, won't you, John? You continually force yourself to compete, to win. These are good qualities when channeled correctly. But what you are now considering is far from a worthwhile project. But your need for recognition may overweigh your common sense as it has in the past. You aren't able to find the recognition you think you deserve at home. Your parents are always saying, why, you can't do that, John, you're too young. Oh, what a stupid thing to say. You'll know better when you grow up. But as you grew up, the vicious child-parent cycle began. Neither you nor your parents were probably aware when it began. But remember the time when you were picked up for curfew and your father was hauled into court? Was he sore? You really didn't think it was your fault. At least you didn't do it deliberately. But that didn't make any difference to your father. You got recognition all right. Maybe not the kind you thought you deserved, but it was recognition. And you found that by getting into trouble, you were a factor to be considered. And consciously or subconsciously, you got into more and more trouble. Then you found that by taking chances, you got the approval of your group. The bigger the chance, the more approval. You became the leader, and the group looked up to you because you had heart, as they called it. So again, you've got to show you've got guts. Show that you can be the leader. Your moment of decision is at hand. You weigh the odds against getting caught. Though you know you're wrong, your emotional need for recognition outweighs your good sense. Another chance to prove yourself. You make up your mind. Come on, Paul, let's go. So now, Paul, it's up to you. Your moment of decision has arrived. Your fight is against rejection. You know what John has suggested is dangerous. The chances of being caught are great. Your folks would be furious if they knew you were even contemplating such an action. But after all, you don't care. They don't love you anyway. Or at least that's what you think. They're always on your back about something. They don't like the way you keep your room. Your hair is too long. No son of mine is gonna live like some beatnik. You've heard it a million times. When did it all start? Who knows? Maybe it was when Jerry was a baby and you tried to help. You didn't know that in the few minutes it took to go to the store to get some airplane cement, a baby could almost strangle himself in his own bedclothes. Well, he didn't die, so what was all the fuss about? Your mother frantic, your father yelling? You didn't stop to think your parents had been scared half to death. You were angry. You wanted to strike back. It all seemed so unfair. And as time went on, you got back at them by being bad. You're rejected at home, or so you think. Well, you won't be rejected by your group. 
not at any price. You make your decision. Now, Bill, it's up to you. You're not unlike the others. You need social approval, recognition, and you'll fight against rejection. But you also know the gamble you're about to take. You ask the question, am I willing to pay the price if I get caught? That's a tough one, isn't it? Like all the others, your decision will be colored by the past. Growing up is never easy. Both your parents have worked as long as you can remember. Even so, there never seemed to be enough money for the things you wanted. You always spent too much time alone. And then last summer, you had a chance to go on a fishing trip with a gang. But you didn't have a rod and reel. And when you asked your dad, he said, well, I'm sorry, son, I, I just don't have the cash. Why don't you go get a job after school? But there wasn't time, and you stole a rod and reel. Your father found out and raised Cain. But he also talked with you and showed you where you were wrong. Then he took you back to the sporting goods store where you had stolen the equipment. The manager listened, and he and your dad worked it out. The rod and reel were put aside, and you were to get a part-time job. You didn't go fishing that weekend, but not long after when the rod and reel were paid for, you did go. You and your father went together, and you gained respect for your father and yourself. He helped you with that decision. Now this one is on you. But you're better equipped than you were to weigh the odds, and when you ask yourself the question, am I willing to pay the price if I lose, you know you're not. You see the hostility begin. Okay, chicken. All right, Robert, you're the last. Bill was smart and you know it, but he's gone and branded chicken. How badly do you need social approval? There's no question in your mind about right and wrong. You know it's wrong, but your need to belong is great. It's always seemed an uphill fight to you. How many times have you heard your parents call as you left the house with a gang? Be careful, dear, have a good time, but don't get into trouble. Then the jeers and laughter. At first, you tried to go along with your parents, but you lost the respect of your friends. It was a hard fight to get it back, and you had to take a lot of chances to do it, just like the chance you'll have to take now if you want to belong. Chicken, that's a stigma that wouldn't be easy to overcome. You can't face that word, can you? It's your decision and your life, and you could face it if you tried, but you're not ready to try. You've all made your decisions now, three to one. Only one of you squarely faced up to the big question, am I willing to take the punishment if I get caught? All of you sidestepped that question except Bill. You think you'll make it, so you try. But in the whirlwind of events that follow, the stolen car is spotted and the police give chase. You want to stop and tell them it was only a prank, that you knew better. But even now, you're not willing to face up to reality. And you try your next big gamble. You try to outrun them. But fate steps in and you're caught. Now the cards are squarely on the table. You've lost the gamble, and you find you're not willing to face the punishment. emotional needs seem small against the possibility of going to prison. Suddenly you realize what you knew all along. The decision was your very own. And while it may have been colored by your background, you and you alone had to make the choice. There will be other decisions in the future. And though you handle this one badly, if you make an effort to understand the reason for making it the way you did, you may yet learn to make wise decisions before it's too late.